Hello and welcome to another Cubic Learning Center video. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can use Wingate 7's web access control to create simple and effective internet browsing policies for your users. Web access control can be used as an alternative to, or in addition to, the Wingate policy system to control user access to web browsing. It provides a quick and easy way of controlling access based around the classification of sites and URLs. It also supports authentication so it is possible to control access at the user level. When you log into the Wingate Administration Console, you will see the Web Access Control as a separate node on the navigation tree. Click on the top level branch and you'll see Categories and Access Rules, which are used together to control access. And you'll also see Classifiers. Classifiers provide information about the category of a site or URL to the Web Access Control system. Wingate comes with a built-in manual classifier that allows you to classify certain sites or URLs as specific categories. If we look at the Categories panel, we can see that it's blank apart from the Unknown category. So at the moment, because no categories have been defined, any request is going to belong to the Unknown category. And let's say I want to control access to social media like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. The first thing that I need to do is to create a new category. And let's call it Social Media. And now I've got my new social media category, but there's nothing in it. So I need to go to my classifier and classify some sites into that category. So I click Add New Classification and then enter my site. I'm going to use pattern matching so that I can catch everything at Facebook.com. Now I select the classification from my category list and click OK. I'll also just quickly add YouTube and Twitter while we're here. Now if I open a browser and go to Facebook.com, I can see in my manual classifier that this site has been hit. As well as adding sites individually to categories, I can also create lists of sites. I'll create a list called New Sites. I'll add CNN and BBC to my news list. The other cool thing that lists do is let me check a file for a list, so I can use any text file to check against. I've got a text file of news sites here that I'll import into my list. If there are any changes that need to be made to my news list, I can simply edit the text file. Using lists can make category administration much easier, as I can then manage and edit my lists, rather than manage individual entries in the classifier. OK, that's great, but how do I now control access to those sites? Well, that's where the access rules come in. We can see that there's a default rule that everyone is allowed access to all categories at all times. I'm now going to add my social media rule. I'll name the rule and then choose what is going to happen when this rule is hit, which is going to be deny. Now I can choose which user or group to apply my rule to. In this case, I want everyone to be denied access. Now I'm going to select which categories to apply this rule to, and I can have multiple categories here, but for now I just want my social media category. Now I can select a schedule for when this rule is going to be evaluated. We have a flexible internet access policy, so I'm going to let the users check their social media sites during lunch and before and after work. To do this, I just click the mouse and drag it across the times that I want to select. I'll do Monday to Friday 9am to 12pm, and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Click Set after making your selection, and that's it. I now see my new rule that applies to everyone on the category of social media, the schedule is custom, and the result is deny. So let's test it. Now when I try to access Facebook, I get a message back saying that Wingate has blocked this site because the social media rule has denied access to the social media category, and in my access rules, I can see a hit on that rule. Fantastic! As you can see, it's pretty easy to control access using the web access control system. However, it's going to be a bit tedious to have to go through and configure all of the different categories that administrators need to restrict access to. And that's where PureSight for Wingate comes in. 
Pure Site Functions is another classifier. It provides a wide range of categories and classifies sites based on the Pure Site database files. So I'm going to quickly add the Pure Site plugin via the Wingate Updates panel. I simply click Add and then click the Start Download button. Once the download is complete, I click the Install Updates button to begin installation. When the Wingate engine restarts, I see a warning that one of my products isn't licensed, so I'll just activate a 30-day free trial. Now under my classifiers I can see that PureSight is listed, and if I look at the categories I can see all of the categories that have been provided by PureSight. I can still see the social media category that I created in the manual classifier, so it's possible to have categories from multiple providers. And in fact, any categories that you create through the manual classifier overrule the PureSight categories, so you can create exceptions to what is provided by PureSight to manage your access. Well now let's create a new webmail rule. I'm going to apply it to everyone at all times because I don't want my users accessing their private emails at work. I can see my new rule listed there and when I test it I can see that access is denied when I try to go to hotmail.com. Great. The other thing I want to do is get more control over personal browsing. I want to control access to sites like sports sites, news sites, shopping and so on because I don't mind my users going to these sites on their break times but I don't want them accessing them during work hours. So I'm going to modify my existing social media rule and call it restricted sites. Now all I need to do is add more categories to my rule and I've created a whole range of sites that my users can access on their free time. And now they'll love me. So that's how easy it is to control access with a web access control system in Wingate 7. If you need more control over your network, then check out our videos on the Wingate policy system. As always, if you need any assistance or have any questions, visit our site to find a dealer near you or to contact our help desk. Thanks for watching.